All right, folks, things continue to heat up over on the Korean Peninsula. According to the latest reports, of course, that I'm going to link you guys up with, uh, North Korea has apparently successfully miniaturized nuclear weapons, little mini nuclear warheads, apparently, that they can mount on intercontinental ballistic missiles, uh, according to new reports from U.S. officials. Now, the assessment from the Defense Intelligence Agency reported earlier today by the Washington Post puts Pyongyang closer than ever before to becoming a full-fledged nuclear power capable of striking the United States with a nuclear weapon. Let's face it, that's something that Kim Jong-un and North Korea has threatened uh, against the U.S. often. And the development here raises the stakes for United States President Donald Trump who has vowed that he will not allow North Korea to obtain a nuclear weapon that can strike the United States. As a matter of fact, North Korea has come out and stated that it would use nuclear weapons only against the United States. And I'll link you up to this report as well, talking more about this, but uh, Pyongyang threatened that it would use new its nuclear weapons against the United States uh, if it was provoked militarily, and that's what this piece talks about here that I'll link you guys up with. It says, defying pressure from new United Nations sanctions, North Korea threatened to use nuclear weapons against the United States if militarily provoked and said it would, under no circumstances, negotiate on its nuclear and missile weapons programs. And uh, North Korean Foreign Minister Ri Young ho on Monday delivered the strongly worded statement to reporters on the sidelines of an Asian regional security conference hours after United States uh, Secretary of State uh, Rex Tillerson vowed to implement the stiffest sanctions yet imposed on the uh, Pyongyang regime. And this is uh, causing a, a, a heavy nuclear arms race, if you will, that's building there in the Asia Pacific around the Korean Peninsula, as South Korea is contemplating going nuclear now, as well as Japan. And Japan is now contemplating it because South Korea was contemplating it. So again, this, this nuclear arms race, this arms race, the heavy militarization, it's all signs of the times, folks. Wars and rumors of wars. And so I'll link you guys up to these reports. And again, we've got North Korea once again threatening nuclear strikes against the United States if they're militarily provoked. And we've got U.S. officials releasing a report earlier today talking about how North Korea has new mini-nukes and they've miniaturized nuclear warheads that they can mount on ballistic missiles that can strike the United States. So these signs of the times continue, folks. Until next time, it's Brother Joey signing off. Much love, my friends, and God bless you guys.